What we experience is that women on working on farms and living on farms, they, um, as primary caregivers in, in the household, they, they have to make do with, with the very uh, basic necessities. On some of the farms, you, you'll find that there's no electricity, no running water, and it's basically up to the women to care for their families in these environments. We have been approached by um, women on, on farms complaining about working conditions, um, especially um, working in the vineyards through picking seasons, getting the, the vineyards ready. Um, they work alongside men, but they, they don't receive the same treatment. No provision is made for them for specific breaks. Um, no sanitation um, is, is made available, and they have to, to squat behind trees and those type of things. Yeah, the problem is that the toilet is also part of the compounds, the toilets, but it's by the work. And it's also part of it. And it was very dangerous for the women. The gifts that they have been able to get us to get so much trouble. Some of the women and the men did the same work, but they are not paid the same amount. The, the people start sometimes at five o'clock. The, the lorries come and pick them up at, at about four o'clock in the morning. And they must work until 11 o'clock in the night. And the lorries come back and drop them at home. But they had only a sleep of three, four hours for the night. And the next day is the same time. The minimum wage um, for farm workers at the moment is 1,300 rand per month. Um, and if you look at other sectors, even your um, household assistants, they earn more than that. Those earnings does a lot or impacts a lot on, on, on how farm workers or farm dwellers live and what they have to make do with. All the problems that we have here is the basic problem that we have here on the farm. They are very easy to do in one big farm. A lot of farms hire seasonal um, workers um, during either the picking season or preparing the vineyard for the, for the harvest and that. And women will come as far as um, Kuruman areas. It's about 250 kilometers from um, Uppington to, to work as seasonal workers and they would be cramped seven to eight in, in one room and the room would only be, be curtained off and no provision is made for privacy. Most farm dwellers experience a, a lack of electricity or access to electricity as well as access to clean water. We will find that many of the farm dwellers will still use water out of the uh, canals that, that's running adjacent to, to the river. And that water hasn't gone through a, a purification system. We see that and, and we would like to investigate that to check whether the water is of, of, of a drinking quality. In some of the farms, people paid for electricity for 30 units, about 100 rent. And it's very, very huge because they paid that 350 rent a week. And as some of them use most of the money for electricity. What we found in, in most eviction cases or where there's a threat of eviction that the husband who is employed on the farm, um, he will have the, the occupational right and his wife and family would be um, basically living with him being the, the main occupier. The act at this stage doesn't protect women or children um, with the security of, of long-term tenure. Um, for instance, if the husband passes away, then according to the Act, the wife and children's got a 12-month period um, to, to vacate the, the farm. 
Die Probleme begann 2010, die 9. Augustus, toen ik na mijn ma begraven werd. Die mensen van die school die naar toe gekomen en voor mij gezegd die verblijf heeft geëindigd. En ik was in een baie toestand. Ik heb niet geweten wat om te doen en van toe moet ik gaan nie, want ik zit hier en ik heb die halpie. Uh, ik kan onthou, toe ons hier kom blij, uh, was ik nog op die laarschool. En ik is nou, ik word nou uh, die 31ste mei, dan word ik 50. So, my verblijf was nog alle jaren hier. En ik heb nog altijd hier thuis gevoel om hier te blij. Dus ik en mijn maas oud bewerk, ik is op die plaats. En ons auto betaal 50 rand is hier. En omdat mijn ma werkt nog al 24 jaar, ik het als kind hier bij die blanke schroot samen met mijn ma geweest. Ik zal graag willen, al moet nou al voor mijn ma een verzekering gegeven. Misschien ook hier tussen de kaarten transport dat het haar is. Uh, the main thing who lead to gender-based violence is alcohol misuse. We pick it up at, at every, every farm. The problem here on the place is the unranding of women, children mishandling, what us al for and day bring it. And women on farm bid for us workswinkels and bid in us the workswinkels by gewoon. En ik mezelf het al in die eilanden gegaan en uh, vergaderingen gaan hou met vrouwen bij elkaar gebring. En ons het gepraat over die problemen en gesê, uh, ons kan opstaan voor onze rechten. En ons kan gaan luister wat Women and Farm voor ons aanbied. The Lawyers for Human Rights have been approached by the Human on Farms project um, to talk to women about the rights in terms of the Family Violence Act and how they could access the, the justice system um, to get protection orders um, against um, being a boyfriend or husband. Our view with, in, in respect of um, the imbalance or the the non-recognition of, of women as, as occupiers is that legislation should look at um, what can be done to, to improve that imbalance and looking at um, where women are also employed on, on farms and where they can obtain a, a occupational right of their own. My AI would like to see that the government must come and, 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 and look at that people to give them more attention on that things. Uh, housing conditions, water, electricity, and also that hard work they do on the farms for that small amount.